day today, Eric? 29th. August 29th. A little project going on. Heading back. Max is showing us what truck we're going to need to get. Go back here and grab one of these old Fords and make this young man a bonsai trailer for hauling wood. Anything else that he wants to do with it. We're going to dig an old Ford out, take her up there and strip her down and make a trailer out of it. We'll see you back there. Too bad of shape. Fenders are good. good. Decent front bumper. Grills all there. This fender's not so good. But anyway, I'm gonna move 
move Tammy's truck out of here. Waiting on brake line kit for that. Blew a brake line, so uh, I ordered some stuff from inline tube. So we'll get that out of there. And uh, we'll get that Ford pushed up in here and picked up. Start cutting body mounts and everything else off of it. Last time I built one of these, it was on a stone floor in a shed with floor jack and a loader tractor. So we're high tech this time. Oh, come on, get up there. I let her go too far before I pulled it. There we go. Alright, well, I'll get this out of here and we'll get the Ford in here. Alright, well. Ah. Tammy's truck finally got that started, left the key on in it when it was neutral, so the batteries were dead. Got it started out of the way. Got this thing pushed in here. We'll get the uh, lift underneath of her, pick her up, and start seeing what we got to do to get the cab off of it. So, yeah, get her done. Okay, well, we got the radiator out, cut all the body mount bolts, and we got her on the way up. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yep, keep going. I'll get you uh, cable, uh, emergency brake cable and speedometer cable. somewhere side cuts uh, I got lines right now I don't want to cut it not sure where my bolt cutters went they in the door with the channel lock no as soon as you shut the camera off you find them Max smells all the woodland creatures that have been in it since uh, it's been sitting back in the woods for a couple years. Well, since 2018, it's been sitting back there in the lane. Good? Yep, we're good. Uh, anything else look like it's in the way? That over here. All right, well, let's go up a little farther then. Ready? Going up.
One F-150 cab removed. For sale. For sale. Make offer. Make condition. Little old lady from Pasadena owned it and only drove it to church on Sundays. Corona free. Corona free. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get this chassis pulled out. Get the cab off the lift with the forks. Set it on a pallet or something. I think I got a couple of long pallets. Put the chassis back in here, get the motor and tranny out of it, strip the front suspension off of it, start making a hitch. Sounds like a plan. Be back in a flash. There's definitely something out there. He smells the woodland creatures in that. He was laying down next to it waiting for him to run out. I'll put a for sale sign on that, make offer. So we got the chassis back in here, up on the lift. Pull the drive shaft, get the motor and everything loose. Pull the bug out, I can swing the bobcat right in here. Pick that motor out. We got the back wheels are tied up, so we're going to have to probably end up busting the rear drums off of it. Not going to have brakes on it anyway. So, yeah, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, pretty sure we got everything we need out of here. I'm in the bobcat. We'll see about picking her up. You got way too much on that back one. side of it here yep they're all right there yep will it do it one cut I should hmm, might not be a good enough ground down there on that no well, that's grounded. The ground yeah. probably isn't good enough to go through, the through that. Yeah, all the linkages. I'm going to get rid of these brackets, huh? Yep. Take that rivet off. and got five of them. So, all right. Yeah, we're getting right down there. Eric's playing with the plasma cutter. I'm having a blue yummy. Well, when we pulled it in here, it was a truck. Our pile of scrap underneath is uh, 
getting bigger. We have a technical expert here, Mr. Kepler. So we're all good now. So yeah, our pile of stuff. So now we got to figure out where we're going to nip the frame and bring it together and nip it here and straighten it out. So, but yeah, it's coming along. There we go. Stop for a beverage break, then we'll get back at it. Oh, good evening, everybody. It is, well, hang on a minute. Let me flip my watch around. It's uh, 20 after eight. We went and got pizza. I ordered pizza and we went and got it. We got the whole frame stripped down. All we gotta do is cut it, notch it, pull it together. And, uh, and go from there. Max out here barking at some, I don't know what it is, behind the semi. Just barking. He's barking at the neighbors down there pulling in. But look at this. Let me see. Yeah, look at this sunset. Isn't that amazing? That's due west. I hope you can see these clouds. I hope they're coming out like they were. I mean, even if you look up above the house there and you can see the pink. So this is, uh, I do believe this is Karen coming to Northwest Ohio. If I'm not mistaken, that's what this is. He has not let this thing alone. He was actually laying out here beside it. He smells, like I said, woodland creatures. But yes, so this is really, of course they say red, red sky at night, sailor's delight. That means that the storm is still a thousand miles away and you don't have to worry about it. But I'd have to say, I don't know. Look at that jet making a contrail right there. Let me zoom in. Can you see it? Oh, this daggone thing ain't gonna work. It never wants to work for me. Light and dark, yes, but no, I don't. Okay, so I shut the thing off accidentally. There we go. There we go. Now I just gotta find it. There it is. A big old jet airliner. All right, what do I gotta do? Shut you off again? I guess that's what I gotta do. Okay, anyway, so there's a jet airplane. But yes, this is really, really colorful. Wave after wave after wave after wave. And that's uh, southwest. <coughs> yeah, well, let's do south, but look at there. There's the moon shining up above the above the house. But yeah, that's pretty pretty incredible sunset. I don't know. I didn't check the rain gauge. Today. We had a half an inch last night when we left for Finley to go out to dinner with Tammy's friends. And I need to check it today. So I'm going to walk out there and check it now. And I will check back in in a few minutes when after I check it. How do I look up against the sunset? I'm filthy. But anyway, check back in a little bit. Whew, okay. I'm back. Had to make a little detour through the house. 
Um, so what's in this? Uh, oh, so that is another six tenths. We'll call it six tenths. So that's an inch and a tenth yesterday. All oh, that stuff come out. Oh, I got a bunch of crap in the bottom of that. Um, I got a big water source right here to rinse it out. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, now I lost my hole. empty where's my hole hmm there it is actually I found it or one of them so yeah <coughs> all right so inch and a tenth that'll help well while we're back out here let's take a look at this she's just about gone Looks a lot darker in person than it does on my phone. Huh. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I don't know why that thing is going to be clear up there. But anyway, yeah. She's, uh, sun's going down. All right, let's go see what kind of trouble we can get in. All right, everybody, it's uh, it's about dang near 2 o'clock a.m. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Had some friends stop by, sat here and drank beer. There. 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 Anyway. So they left a little while ago, so I uh, started working on this again, the bonsai trailer. I uh, cut the frame here, there, 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 there. I want to cut these out of here. Actually cut a, a triangle out of there and there, and then just split that. And started pushing everything together. And I got uh, five C-clamps on it. Got everything held together. It all looks good. It all looks weldable. All these joints. I mean, I'll make a, I'll make a plate to go across here. The bottom here, I'll uh, make a whole triangle to fill this whole section in here. This will all be filled in for like a storage area to throw chains and stuff. <coughs> Got the frame all clamped up. I mean, we're even Steven right there. Just the differences in the frames. So I'll uh, start welding here. Then I will actually beat this frame down to this frame and weld it. And we get up here to where all this stuff was here. I'll just weld it. I'll probably weld here too. Uh, I might not. I might see if beating this down brings this down. <clears throat> but when you get up here to this side, this frame, the driver's side is actually lower than the passenger side. It's actually tucked underneath there. So I don't know if I want to beat this down or not. I don't want everything to move when I beat it down. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just stitch it. Maybe I'll just stitch a few inches there. Stitch a few inches here. Well, I'll weld this from here to there. And then stitch this all in here to here, here to here. This line here is where we're actually going to cut it off before this hump here. As you can see, it's a hump up. So we'll cut it off right here, straight down here, plate this end, and then make the hitch. Do away with this stuff, because as you can see, this is getting pretty thin up here. She's rusted pretty thin. 
So anyway, like I said, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Just shy of 2 o'clock in the morning. So I think we're going to call it a night. I've got this all held together. Eric will be over here tomorrow. Make sure it's what he wants to do. And we will... Uh, We'll go from there. He wanted to keep track of how many blue yummies it takes to make a bonsai trailer. Huh. huh. I guess he shouldn't have left. <laughs> All right. Well, there was a lot of beers drank and nothing done on the trailer. But like I said, they left. So I started working on it again. Got that all done. Yeah, it's ready to weld up. Uh, we'll need some heavy material for the hitch, to make the hitch. And uh, we'll go from there tomorrow. So I'll probably tie that into today. So uh, Max is still out there where we set the uh, cab. He won't leave it alone. He's out there guarding it. There's smells out there that he doesn't know about. It's woodland creatures. Uh, did find one nest in the frame. Looked like a bunch of seat cushion material. Uh, well, yeah. It's all good. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, this isn't long enough yet. So, we'll see you in the morning. Talk to you later. Good night.